in preparation for Halloween, I am going to show you how I make tombstones. I love to make tombstones. It is easy. It is something you can do and get creative with it. They can be scary or they can be highly positive. And the message on your tombstone is how you want to celebrate Halloween. I'm going to give you some ideas and I hope you like it. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to share it. Hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it and like it. You can find creative ways to be positive on the scariest day of the year. Alrighty guys, this here is called Artec insulation. It is four feet by eight feet and I am going to get four tombstones out of this. Here are some of the things we are going to be needing today. A tape measure, a sharpie, this stuff called power grab, a caulking gun, a razor knife, see that right there, see that right there, razor knife, and you know how I always love to recycle things. This is insulated tubing that you can put around your pipes. I found this in one of our dumpsters of the unused construction materials that were getting thrown out sent to the dump. You have two different sizes, smaller size and a larger size. Okay, and I have four of these because I'm going to have four different tombstones. All right, you're also going to need some gray spray paint and you're also going to need some stone spray paint. These are the keys to the final finesse. So I also recommend one tube of caulking. You've got the writing on this side and then on this side it is a reflective barrier. I leave this side. This is not the side I'm going to use because it's going to save me some paint. So I'm going to use this side. Now, now once they're all cut, I will spray paint them and use some stone spray paint as well to give it that really cool effect. white side of the board, now we're going to cut the silver side. All you have to do, right in that seam, cuts like butter. Okay, all four of our pieces ready to be shaped into tombstones. Here comes Frank. Let me see if I can scare him. Honey, come yeah. here, I want to show you what I'm doing. Hi, honey. Ah! Are you going to stab me? I didn't know it was you, honey. Daddy was a scary lady. Wow. I'm Bride of Frank. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Yeah. We're making tombstones today. Yeah, looks good. Wanna help? No. Yeah. Get out of here. Uh, beard 30. Here's where your creativity comes into play. So you can choose how high you want your tombstone to be. You can start rounding your tombstone, make it nice and tall. You can come down a little lower if you want. I like to keep it as tall as possible. All right, so I'm gonna go like this. This one's gonna be simple. I'm going to just round the corners. Breaking that first layer, they have like a plastic coating on it. And then just cut away. I highly suggest that you don't go with anything smaller than the inch and a half on the Artec because it is too thin. The wind will start moving it. You never know how windy it's going to be on Halloween night. Yeah, are you going to put those in the very front? I'm not sure yet. That'd be cool, huh? I was thinking of putting them over near our gargoyle. Gargoyle. People will not really see them. Put them wait right in the front, they'll walk by and look, you know? Oh. Mm -hmm. So, 
that. Are you gonna give me one that size when I die? I'll make you one. That'd be cool, huh? <laughs> Out of concrete, can you imagine I make that? Well, you're gonna bury me in the backyard anyways, aren't you? One day. <laughs> okay, now, guys, this is when you take this stuff. I would like that, but I would like it. It's going to fit on just like this. So you're going to have to work with it a little bit. Take it, you got to spread it out. And that's where the power grab comes into play. Why I love power grab? Power grab is awesome because it dries really fast. It holds right away. Yeah. You can just use the all purpose. All purpose is fine. Oh, you've got this good and adhered. You want to make sure that that dries. Nice and even. See that? That's the start of it. Once it dries, then I'm going to round it. And you don't have to use this. It just adds a nice little bit of substance to it. Okay, so we're gonna let this one dry. Always make sure you turn your caulking gun down so that it doesn't keep flowing out the top. So once again, this is Power Grab. Super easy to use. If you have a caulking gun, let me show you. There's a little hole right here. Kind of angle your caulking gun. Put the tip in about, about a half an inch. Goes right in the cradle and voila, you're ready to go. Sometimes with caulking, now power grab doesn't have it, but sometimes with caulking, you've got to open the little hole up that is right inside of here. There is this little metal thing, it's right there. And you just kind of plunge it. Now let me show you. You don't need to do it with power grab, but some, some of these glues you do, liquid nails you do. You can use liquid nails. I personally don't like liquid nails as much because Power Grab, like I said, holds really quick. All right, I'm gonna take my tube and I'm going to pump in a good amount of Power Grab. And there. Good. Don't need a ton of it, but you also don't want it to come off. You can use liquid nails if you have it, but this is just what I prefer to use. Way easier to work with. Look at that. I'm gonna offset it. Okay. Kind of pull from the inside out like that. Okay? Now with this here, you will have to be extra careful in storing and then also handling uh, because you don't want this to get thrown off. Stay tuned because we are going to have a whole lot of fun finishing these.
Alrighty guys, one thing I wanted to mention real quick is when it comes to spray paint cans, oftentimes people think, oh my gosh, they're the devil. But you know what the beauty of spray paint is? Is that it is, these cans are recyclable. You can just make sure all the paint is emptied out. I would double check with your area to see if your curbside pickup will accept these. Mine does. And so it's great. I just have to make sure all the paint is out. It's an empty can that I'm putting in there. If say you have a can of spray paint that the nozzle doesn't work, it's full and you don't know what to do with it, you don't want to just throw it into a landfill. What you want to do is go online, check with your local uh, curb pickup and if they don't pick it up they should have resources that'll point you in the right direction where you can recycle these yes they are recyclable already guys here they are without the stone spray but they are all ready to be written on And then here, I just wanted you to see the edge, how cool it looks. It looks like stone when you leave that rough edge and you paint it with the spray paint. It etches the styrofoam when the spray paint hits it. And so this is going to be a sign. Uh, you can either write cemetery or enchanted garden, whatever, wherever you're going to use it. Or haunted house, beware, you name it. We're gonna just mark some lines really light. Um, when you get it where you want it, we're gonna use a chalk line. Just gonna lightly mark it to keep the words that we want straight, and then the chalk will wipe right off. All right, now here you see, so I've come along here and I've marked it with Sharpie. I have one of my little pumpkin carving tools. I just go, let's see, there you go, it, it cuts really nicely. You could use an X-Acto. Alrighty, so here you can see the top, I kind of wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. Once you've engraved it, then you uh, spray with black spray paint. And we'll let that set up and show you how I do the gray. So now we're going to do a nice light coat of the stone spray. Alrighty, here lies Goliath, the Philistine giant, taken down by David, a shepherd boy, with a sling and a stone, 1 Samuel 17.50. Uh, David is a, is a hero in the Bible. Goliath is pretty darn scary. He was like a nine-foot giant. And so I have his skull there because after David took him down with a sling and a stone, he chopped his head off. Um, you know, hey, there's a lot of gore in the Bible. <laughs> And let's see here, we have a little tiny tombstone. It says fear on it. And if you fear, Psalm 27.1 talks about uh, not fearing. This one's pretty standard. I made him out of repurposed foam and pallet wood. Here you see the cross engraved at the top. I also have the heart that I made uh, with the uh, air dry clay. Uh, this is a handwritten stone in honor of my grandmother. She was always very loving and love one another as I have loved you is on her tombstone. This one says here lies Scotty Fife for fooling around with the marshal's wife. Proverbs 634 which talks about a jealous husband will not spare when he takes revenge. That about sums it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed making tombstones with me. Uh, please be sure to share it if this helped you and you know someone else who would love it. Subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Like it 
and hit that notification bell so you do not miss an episode of Organically Anne. Blessings to you. Have a happy and safe and enchanted Halloween.